Hey everybody, this is Indiana Jack and we're in Weed, California. I'm checking my oil. I don't understand why, but I'm not complaining. I don't need oil and I've got 15,000 miles on this oil. Usually I've Usually I've had to add about two gallons. So, I don't know, she's sealing up all by herself. So I'm happy about that. We're on a trip going into Oregon. Thanks for riding along with me. Let's get going. We're finally getting out of weed. I was telling you how I was happy about the oil not being low, but then I went around to the other side of the truck and I saw a bunch, bunch of white droplets all over. And I'm sure some of you know what that is. You know, when you have a coolant leak and it sprays out and it's white. So I don't need another coolant episode. But I couldn't find a leak. I screwed the cap in a little bit tighter. Hopefully that'll be what it was. Because I had checked, or I had added coolant this weekend. This truck stop used to be a ghost town. It was owned by some Middle Eastern people and no one ever came here except other Middle Eastern people. But now that it's a pilot, it's, man, it's very busy. You know, three deep to get fuel, that's a lot of, a lot of people getting fuel. You know, we always complain that it takes so long, and we always love to blame the other truck driver, and usually it is the other truck driver, but it's also the clerks in there. You know, they take a long time with each customer, so I don't know how to move them along. It's 600 feet. Take the entrance to the Rado I-5. Weed's a beautiful part of California. Take the entrance to the Rado I-5 North. A lot of transients here, even in the winter. I think people going up north or traveling down south. destination here. Just about. I thought it was a, uh, boy I'm surprised, I thought it was a store but it's a distribution center. We 
which is better. <laughs> it's totally better because uh, I didn't know what to think. So that's it. Approaching destination on the left side, at zero point four miles. That means I can unload tonight, possibly if it's just a drop. Just a drop and hook. <laughs> yeah! Okay, That'll be so cool. On the left side. You know how I'm always saying that nothing in trucking turns out like you think. All day I was thinking this was a live unload at a store. But it's not, it's just a simple drop and hook. I got good news. They have an empty. But I'm in a pickle, and here's my pickle. I can't stay on their property. I don't have any hours. And I don't have any place to go with a trailer. So I'm gonna, right now, I think I'm gonna bobtail out to like a parking lot or a vacant lot and then come back for this empty in the morning. Don't really have a choice. It's got to do something. Well, I got lucky. I uh, bobtailed into town. Found a place to uh, stop. I'm going to go. I'm going to get stop here, get some food and then go back and get my trailer because you got to guard those empties. And then there's a place out on the road I'm going to call it a night so let's uh, get some food all right we made it back and the guard told me I can just uh, stay here so that's what I'll do This is a high cube trailer though. So I can't get a load to the east. That's all right. I don't want to get any loads to the east for a while. I'm burned out on the east. Well, there were no loads 
over near Bend, Oregon, which is where I was last night, where we dropped off. So I'm all I'm going all the way over to uh, Portland area, picking up a heavy load there, going down to the Bay Area. Now I don't usually go to the Bay Area. I am today. Tomorrow, actually. I'll get this picked up tonight. And uh, the reason I don't go to the Bay Area is, I'll explain when I get there, basically there's no parking. The same old story. No parking, no food, no place to do anything there. So... And all, most of the loads I get out of there when I used to go there, they're all the 45,000 pound loads. So, I'm just enjoying this uh, trip I'm on now between Bend and Salem. It's a pretty nice drive. Got some uh, snow ahead. Maybe we'll see some snow. They even gave us a door. give you plenty of room to maneuver. <laughs> Just sometimes everything goes completely smooth. Coca-Cola plant in Phoenix that, man, you don't ever want to get sent to that one. They're always behind by a few hours. Not my favorite Coke plant. This one's great. You're watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Stay tuned. Well, I made it to Cottage Grove, Oregon. That's not a lot of miles, but I had a great day. You know, some days are better than others. Well, today was a good day, even though I didn't drive a lot of miles. I consider it like a, uh, a loading day. And I've talked to you guys about that before. Um, plus a lot of deadheading. You don't make any money when you're deadheading, but it, you know, at least you're not losing money either. And it puts you in position to get another load. So I'm here in Cottage Grove, Oregon, kind of a secret little hideout of mine. What's good about this place 
is that it has a Kentucky Fried Chicken. You don't have to have regular truck stop food. That's what I like about it. Well, good morning everyone. We're just getting out of Central Point, Oregon. Beautiful day. We have a few truckers that are upset because the fuel islands aren't moving fast enough. But that's all right. Their blood pressure medication will kick in, hopefully. Go up there with, with 
with him again, man, the way he drove. Buzzing around those little mountain roads. Mr. Doug Kraft, I wonder whatever happened to him. If you know Doug Kraft in uh, Grants Pass, Oregon, tell him Jack's looking for him. I did an experiment once coming out of that grade at the state line of Nevada and California, and I took a photo of my fuel dash, you know, my fuel level on the dash at the bottom of the hill, and then took a picture of it at the top of the hill, you know, that big grade coming out of uh, Whiskey Pete's, and it took like 15 gallons when I was this heavy, so 15 gallons times $4 per gallon, that's a lot of money. That's why us owner-operators, we don't like going up these hills. Because we see the fuel gauge just going... <laughs> but another thing about that same grade that I just told you about... California, in all of its wisdom, is putting a scale right there as you exit Whiskey Peaks about halfway up that hill. So now all of us trucks have to start that grade from zero, which just is a night, it's already a nightmare, even though, you know, because, because you can go pretty fast out of Nevada to get up that hill, you know, to get the momentum of going up the hill, but now, it's going to be probably like the banning scale. Everybody will have to go into it. So, you people going to Las Vegas, you cars, you think you hated the trucks on that grade before. You're really going to hate them now. As I always mention when I'm driving in Oregon, you really got to appreciate their DOT of letting us drive on the shoulder. I wish California could do that. Because it really helps out the other drivers because we're going so slow. on I-5. down out of the mountains of northern 
California. The first truck stop you hit is the TA here in Redding. Which is especially needed sometimes, especially if you're heavy. I don't mean if you're fat. I mean if you're if your truck's heavy. Uh, just because the the weight of your truck adds a lot of stress to you. So I usually stop here or Corning. Corning is the halfway point between Seattle and LA. And if you're going northbound and there's snow up in the mountains, like if it's if the roads close, then this TA is just totally jam-packed. guy causing the hysteria. What in the world? He must have problems. There's always a story. He must have a story as to why he was parked in the middle. For those of you who don't get out very often trucking, this place hasn't changed much. here in Santanella, California. You know, I gotta give them credit here too because they have a Del Taco inside, just like the Moe's that I talked about at the pilot in the uh, film Dreams a few weeks ago. So, gotta give credit and kudos here to the Loves in Santanella because they're doing something different also. Well, you know what? I bragged about Coke a little bit too much. Wouldn't you know, at the delivery point, they were trying out a new software at the company, and I didn't get to make my delivery there. I went there and waited six hours, and then they told me they weren't going to be able to take me that day. So I just called my dispatcher, and we took it to a yard. Hey, be sure to click on my Facebook page, and it's facebook.com forward slash Indiana Jack, and you'll get my feeds every single day, and we can talk about trucks all the time, and make sure before you leave this YouTube page, you click subscribe. Thanks for riding along with me through beautiful Oregon, and we'll see you next time. Remember, trucking really is an adventure. I'm Indiana Jack. Ha 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 ha!